Welcome to another edition of the Dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with a crucial backstage update as concerns injuries to Seth Rollins and Dean, Dean Ambrose from last night on Raw. Word from backstage at last night's Raw is that Seth Rollins is indeed fine and is not injured as originally reported. A source said that Rollins was just selling the knee injury from the main event and doing a good job of it. It was noted that it was suspicious how WWE kept the cameras off Rollins when he went down. And that's why all these dirt sheets reported Seth Rollins possibly suffered an injury. And that's why I reported it as well and gave my view and my opinion of it. But obviously, Seth Rollins is a good faker. He's a, he's a, good, uh, he's a good actor. Yeah. And uh, since fans have asked, Dean Ambrose is fine after the beatdown angle with Kane, Seth Rollins, and Randy Orton on last night's Raw. Apparently, he was busted open in the mouth but did not suffer any significant injuries. Well, I guess Battleground is no longer in question. I guess Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins is still scheduled to take place. But kudos to Seth Rollins for selling that injury because I thought he was legitimately injured. And maybe the superstars are being told now to make the injuries look more real, make it look, look more realistic. And you know, it's something that stirs the fans up. It's something that gets the fans crazy. It's something that gets the fans to questioning whether or not a superstar is legitimately injured. It's almost as if nowadays you can't tell if a superstar is really legitimately injured or it's a part of the angle or, you know, something bad did go down. But, I mean, the way it happened and the way the WWE went about it, hey, i got to give the WWE credit. They did a good job. And Dean Ambrose, he took a hell of a beating. I mean, I don't care if he's fine or not. That man took a hellacious beating. I mean, it was... It was it was almost hard to watch, and especially the curb stomp that Dean Ambrose suffered. That that was that was definitely uh, some a, a great angle to start off for a very very solid. And like I said, Raw last night to me was at least 7.5 out of 10 stars. I mean, it wasn't the greatest Raw of all time, but I felt that it you know it still did what it had to do to bat, to build to battleground. And um, you know this thing is just getting started between Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, and it still has a lot of legs to stand on. So uh, your comments and your opinions on the good job, the selling job of Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Hey, that's why these two guys are going to be the future of the WWE. Subscribe.